Carro. Hello my Pisces friends, I hope you're all doing well. This is Guiding Halo and this is going to be just a general energy reading. I just started your reading and was almost done and I realized I forgot to push record. So we're starting again. Starting her over. I think someone's been through a very dry spell, dealing with something in the courts, been having to push forward and through, but you, you got it. You got it figured out and there's new beginnings coming your way. So that's always exciting. Fulfillment. So you've had some fulfillment in some area of your life. Or many areas of your life, possibly. And stillness, looking at where you want to go next. Or maybe you've had a lot of fulfillment in being still for some time. End of cycle, start of new ones, gratitude. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have and more good will come. So using your intuition to know whether you should continue fighting a battle or walk away. Try and find balance in emotional times. Seems to me you'd like to, or someone has made you an emotional offer that kind of surprised you or that came along at some point, which truly was, you know, I guess, hard to deal with, but it's like there's a wish granted in some sort of way that came out of it all. Putting the old behind you, I guess, and stepping into the new, possibly. Yeah, someone come made you an offer. And you were in a place where you felt like you had to create boundaries and stand your ground in a certain way. Let's not stay in this energy too long though because if you feel like you've got to fight against everybody to protect yourself or to, to protect that which you've created, then you bring more things to yourself to have to fight and protect. And we don't want that. We want you to be able to move into stillness. So it's about being in gratitude in order to change that energy. Feeling attached to something you could not let go of could be Capricorn and a decision you had to make about that. Now, this could also be addictions, right? Feeling tied to them. Stand up for yourself about what it was you wanted to create or what you were capable of creating because of what you felt tied to. So this is the dark and the light of relationships, right? It's about deciding whether I want to be in one or not. So. This is the lovers is contracts, uh, soul contracts, something you felt tied to a soul contract. You had to stand up for yourself to to have an ending and the wheel of fortune spins in your favor here. Well, that's awesome, but we're not seeing the positive in this situation. Buckling down, getting the work done. King of Cups. So grieving there's something that you've been grieving for quite some time but not seeing that love is here love is here for you it's just you just got to turn around and see the love that's there and the way to do that is to get in the attitude of gratitude i guess that's what they're saying be grateful for abundance live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come so stop focusing on what you lost it's going to take great strength something is going to take massive strength this is an energy of leo big-hearted massive strength that's what this is about taking a leap of faith away from the cycles that won't seem to stop i think you're wanting to start new cycles in your life and you're taking a leap of faith Protecting that which you've created, but yet in some sort of way walking away from this battle. Yeah, you're putting an ending to the, the merry-go-round of, it's like a merry-go-round of uh, cycles that keep repeating themselves and you would like it to end or transform. You would want to take a leap of faith towards doing that. 
perhaps ending player like energy and stepping more into committed love energy could be dealing with a Scorpio and not wanting to give up on them or your life together or situation but it seems to me there's an Aries Leo Sagittarius probably Sagittarius energy that's come in here that's got passionate messages to say to you and to speak to you about or there could have been an ending with somebody like this okay let's read these cards fulfillment and stillness okay I'm gonna have to flip this video I think it's recording the wrong way or something just a minute okay so let's read this fulfillment and stillness The peach tree blossoms early, and because of this, it is often a symbol of spring and the renewal of life. It is also the Chinese symbol of a happy marriage and fertility. In some traditions, it stands for immortality. Ripe peaches also portend fertility, fensudi, and great fulfillment. In Korean traditions, the peach represents happiness, riches, honors. And longevity in the Renaissance peaches represented the heart and love and speaking the truth of one's heart fulfillment is at hand no matter what is occurring in your life put your attention on what is splendid pleasurable that's what this be grateful for abundance is and luscious find bliss in the moment love fully deeply without hesitation cherish your friendships fill your life with people experiences and places that give you delight let go of people and things that don't feel empowering and that drag your energy down. You no longer need to put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. If you had an, any health issues, a ripe pe peach represents a return to better health. Savor your life with gusto and with grace. Experience and, and embrace life in all of its per, hmm, permutations. If you want to conceive a baby or a new project or start a new relationship, this card is an excellent omen for a great outcome beautiful so whatever you're working on here the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor a beautiful outcome is going to happen stillness frozen this is a beautiful card too frozen tundra the tundra is a stark and severe landscape found in both the southern and northern hemispheres it is usually bereft of the most plant and animal life and can only support very low growing plants such as mosses and lichen. The soil is frozen year round so it is impossible for trees to grow in that barren landscape. In the winter the landscape is very cold and dark. And wild animals surge across the desolation. Even in the summer the land remains frozen although the surface can be soggy and covered with lakes, marshes, ponds and bogs that come, become havens for millions of migrating birds. Take a step back from a project situation or relationship, even if it's just for a few minutes. Mend bridges, slow down, breathe, be still, go within, listen to your inner voice, take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, and spiritual guardians. Listen to your higher self, timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait, incubate, fix things that need fixing. Yep, definitely. Heal things that need healing, think things through, forgive yourself and others. If things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating bird finds new life in the tundra marshes in the summer, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. Beautiful. So energy to keep in mind here as we move forward. Some Pisces might be looking at something as a trophy. I don't know why that. I just saw a trophy or be winning a trophy. And it's almost like ugh, you don't even care, per se. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, con conflict into growth, and fear into love. Wow. That is a beautiful card. I don't think I've seen that yet. I love it. We just had an eclipse and heading into a full moon today. 
eclipse on the 10th of January and we have the eclipse, something might have happened on January 10th and is there's some healing happening today. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams, understanding that the divine has got your back, that they love you and support you in all things. I hope this message resonates for you and I'll be talking to you again soon. Blessings.